This we don't need. We don't need it? No. Does it hurt to put it back in? What? What's the... It just holds that rubber uh, seal in place, right? It's a seal. With, with this... Right, with the tube that goes up you inside. Don't need it. You don't need it. It doesn't add anything extra, a little bit less yeah. leaking or anything like no. that? No, we can't put it back. I don't mind. I... And I put, I shot some copper coat on there last time when I put the, put it together the first time. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Let's go that way. Just want to make sure. We... Make sure we're putting everything in the right way. I seem, yeah, to remember, the washer's going the right way. I seem to remember that the washer was outside. Yeah, I got it backwards. Washer first, then rubber. And the washer curves. Okay, we dropped something on the floor here. Oh, that's the... Uh, Be all right. Washer goes curve side up. Yeah. Uh, no, the other way. This way. Yeah. Yeah, so it presses. And then that goes there. Is that the camera on? Yeah, I think the camera's on. Lucas assembly lube. Is that the same thing as STP basically? Yeah. So you can just use. Some of 400 or 600, 600 weight. Yeah. I need to get me another bottle of that stuff. The way it, the book tells you to assemble the whole thing and then adjust it. Yes. I found with mine and Fred's. I'll take the empty steering box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. And the sector housing. Put the sector shaft into the housing, bolt it down to the box mm -hmm. without the worm. Okay. Then we can go and adjust the preload on right. the sector, mm -hmm. lock it down. Yeah. Take the sector assembly out. Right. Then drop the worm in. Put the worm in, adjust the worm, the bearing preload. Mm -hmm. Once that's done, put the sector back in, and all you're dealing with is these two adjustments, and bing, bang, boom, it's, okay. it's done. Okay, so I'm looking at this right now, and it's had a chance to get a little bit of corrosion on it. Do we need to run a piece of fine grit sandpaper across these to yeah. clean them off? Yeah, we could. Use a little scotch brake. Yeah. I was kind of wondering about that the other day, so you're thinking it's going to be... Sitting with no lube for however long it's been sitting. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. <laughs> for a couple of months. It was December, wasn't it? I don't remember. So how what have you been doing in this meantime? Besides staying warm and everybody else's car. Oh uh, yeah. Well yours in such is in such good shape, you know. You've set yourself up as the expert. No. Whether you intended to or not. Far from it. I like using the assembly lube uh -huh. initially because it tends to hold, stick to everything. Better than, better than 600 weight? Yeah, it doesn't run off. Every time I've rebuilt the engine, we used STP. Yeah, STP. Just got it all over everything and, and just left it. Yeah. What were you saying that last time you were here? I've got the big girl uh, doing video for me. I can do video. And uh, it's already running. You're just sitting there. It's too tall for me. Yeah, you, know, you don't need to run it. Come on away from it, huh? You can come over here and learn something, maybe, about a steering box. Watch your, watch it. You can get elbow in the chin. Okay. All right, so we got that loosened up. Okay, so we're going to need, we got to soak this in oil. Uh, Just so it gets soaked up with it? Yeah, so that the two surfaces will slide. Oh, I see. 
while you're making the adjustment, you won't tear What's this thing? It's a cork seal. Oh, man, I used to have some of these. I wish I knew where they were. Short that one, I think. Oh, I'll put this in. Put that in. Drop it in. And just tighten them down, right? Yeah. And uh, put the washers on. Lock, lock washer goes on this one. And the old not quite lock washers go on the others. Right. And otherwise, these are the same, right? Right. I did notice that when I was pulling my uh, connecting rods off, my number four piston, or number three piston, is newer than the rest. And, uh, all the other ones have strike marks in them. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one not only has uh, different strike marks, or it does not have strike marks, it had two shims instead of one. So, you know, that one doesn't want to go wrong. What size are they? And uh, these are they're bigger than a half inch, I think, but they're smaller than three quarters. Should be. There's it goes, five eighths. But the uh, one of the nuts on it was a different size than all the rest of them in there. Somebody's messing around with that motor. Well, it says it's got. It says it was rebuilt by the local Ford dealership. But uh, it says it right on it. There's a really nice tag. I'm going to make sure I keep. Yeah. And when I rebuild it, that tag's going back on. What's this? Thing? Steering steering column. The steering shaft. Right there's where the uh, steering wheel goes. Are those hammers? Or what hammers, honey? Those hammers. No, these oh, are, are Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches. Some, looks like there's just some crud in the thread. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's worrisome when your nuts don't want to go on, you yeah? uh, know? How much should I torque them? Should I actually torque them or should I just snug them up? Hold them all together. The little round things are called the bearings. The thing that's holding it all together is called a cage. And this surface right here that they ride on is called a race. <laughs> what does it do? Does it make the steering wheel turn? Um, any bearing is to reduce friction. Right? So if you rub your hands together, they'll warm up, and you can hear them rubbing. So what these do is these are little rollers. They roll in between. So it's like rolling a ball back and forth in your hands instead. They could be. They could be in better shape too. But they're the, the original style and nobody makes those anymore. And for me to replace them, I would have to replace that worm also and all these races. And it would set me back about 300 bucks, I think. That's a lot of money. 
Yeah, you got an open end. This one just doesn't quite fit. Is that five eighths? That is five eighths. So when we were last here, when we were here last time in the winter time, we pressed in the, the bushings and took this all apart because it was because I did it wrong and put grease in it. And we built a fort in the woods. And you built a fort in the woods. That's the important stuff. Yep. And a snowman. And there's a little bitty short snowman over there. My fort was this tall. It could go under it. But now it's gone. Just snug. Here we go. Okay. Now, I've got some amount of slop there. Slop? There shouldn't be any slop. It should be firmed up. Okay. What you want to do now is tighten down on the adjustment for the sector shaft. Alright. Remove all the play, but still be able to turn the shaft freely. What you should do is turn it in until it locks up and then back it off the skosh. No, I can kill. That's it. Okay, let me see. Yeah. So what you want to do now is tighten the jam lock that down. down. Yeah, of course it's gonna turn this guy with it. That's the trick, isn't it? It's not turning mm -hmm. the one while you turn the other. You'll Stay have to recheck it and see. Might have to readjust. Oops. Mm, it's all the longer it needs to be. I think I got it. Okay. So let's take the sector out. Let me give it one little more. See if I can just break something while I'm at it here. Make sure it's not going to back off on me later. What's a sector? This whole th this this thing is called a sector. A sector is something that goes uh, turns through an arc. Okay. I think that's the right definition. See, this is how it works. See the picture? See the picture? And this worm gear sits on top of the sector, and as you rotate that, it makes the sector move. Well, I didn't show you that the one time. You weren't there. Callie was. I showed Callie how this all works. I can show you how it works, too. This is a worm. It's called a worm gear. Because as it turns, it causes something to inch along it. That is a pit in my arm. Is it No, sort of. It goes, up, <laughs> it goes right there on the end of that section. It goes on the end of this. That's what makes it When this thing start. turns, that thing swings back and forth like this and pulls on this linkage right here. It causes it to go back and forth. And that makes the wheels spin? It makes the wheels turn, not spin. That's how you turn a car. Left and right. Left to right. We'll show you when we get into here a little deeper. Hi. Yeah, that thing is... I can help. Well, I don't know how. Hi, Callie. Can I take the nut off? I'll let you take this last nut off. Okay? Look what I found. An old icky golf ball. What'd you find there? There you go, take it off. Down the woods? I didn't know people. The deer are playing golf now, huh? We have a bunch of golfers here. Practice in your backyard. The lady that lives across the woods asked us where we live. If you take and go through these woods all the way to the end, 
Yeah. No, it's not far. There's a side street there. You go across the street and there's a wall. Oh, yeah, I think I already took it. Got it? Step back, camera. There's streams back there. And Beaver Dams and oh. Grace Creek. Okay, you got it loose? It's almost got it. Oh, there you go, don't lose it. Okay, I'll pull this off. Oh, we'll have to get that. Can I help? Not yet. Now, we got it in there, didn't we? Bottom of the toolbox is a rubber mallet. Yep. Why is it rubber? So it doesn't break things. There it goes. That could hurt somebody. Hey, what's this thing? Yeah, you're going to get greasy. That's the second. So here's what he was trying to say, right? This thing rides right here like this. And it dangles. Now watch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and keep my hand in the same place. See how that has to move? Yeah. Back and forth. That's what causes that to move. So let's put this back in here. All right, step back, honey. Maybe. Put that down. Step back. Okay. Which one do now is? Take your bearings, oil them up, oil them up with either, either one. Probably doesn't hurt if I mix them up. You ever see a Model A pickup? <laughs> no. You've never seen a Model A pickup? No. Oh, never. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> Hey, you're in the way. I know. There we go. Don't touch anything at all, please. Oil. Leah, now you're in the way. Why come it's not? Why come? How come it's not still greasy? Honey, don't touch it. Well, no. drop it ever so gently in there. All right. Whoops. See if we can electrocute ourselves on the lights. There we go. Okay. Let's loop that up. I might have enough on my hands there. Mm -hmm. Unless you think I need to lube the outside too. Yeah, just sort of slip. There we go. Now we got to just make sure that the notch in this and the bearing wrench. Is up on top. Corresponds with that bolt. Yeah, I might took, just took the bolt out last time so I could see in there and make sure it was. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it's about a half inch. Nine sixteenths. Is it nine sixteenths? Oh, we're on it. Been away from mechanical stuff too long. There was a time when I would be able to look at that and say the same thing. They sell nickel? Right there, nice and squared up. So now we're going to adjust the preload. Which is this board. Gear. Take out all the slots and still be able to, to make it turn then. freely. You're gonna, whoops, you're going to do what, honey? Go to the car. You're going to take a nap because you didn't go to bed till 4 o'clock this morning? Yep. She's going to sleep over at her friend's birthday party last night. Now, what did I just do that I can't get this stupid nut back in here? I'll just bolt back in here. Daddy, did that crack? Nope, it's supposed to be that way, huh? There we go. Would you believe that we had a... Saw, uh, my son's baseball game the other day was canceled due to bees. Really? All these little ground bees that dig it. Oh man, they just filled the whole outfield off on one side. Um, it was a mess. And one of the coaches got stung. They just decided to call it a day before anyone else did. Now 
Now, should this have about the same amount of, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, drag on it than the as the as this did just a bit ago? What they tell you to do, according to the service bulletins, is to turn oh, down until, to go. until you, it, you can't turn it anymore. Or it's lock up the worm gear, and then back off a sixth of a turn. Sixth of a turn, that, that's one you phase. Know, you just do it by feel. It's not locked up, but it's grinding on the way through. No oh, good. Back it off a little. It should turn turn freely. That's more better, right? It's more better, but I'm trying to feel if there's any. Feels like there's a Scotia slop in there. You can hear it. The Scotia slop mm. in there. Scotia slop's gone. Okay. okay. And now jam it, run the jam down. Run the jam left down. Lock it up. And that looks to be a skosh bigger. Is that a 5 8 jam? Yep. There we go. Okay. okay. So now we'll lay it down. Okay. Sit back, honey. That's greasy. Step back. Put your put sector, sector back, back in. in. Yeah. Now, let me ask this real quick. Before we put that in there, do we need to align this somehow? No. So that this is uh, no. not like all one way or the other? I kind of went through some pains the first time to uh, try and say this is probably straight up. And okay, the housing's going to turn 180. Do yeah. what? It'll line up. So oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Put your nuts on. Can I put a nut on? You can just put nut part way on. Snug. Yeah, we don't want to get them too tight. I'm going to put these washers on. Oops. Nuts. You know, nuts is another way to say darn. It's oily. Okay. Yeah, it is. Let me. Uh, Step back a second. Let me have my fingers in here. Oh. oh yeah, look at that. That one's got just a slight bend to it, it looks like. Mm. That uh, stud does. There we go. Why is this one further down on that? Because uh, I was able to screw it down further by myself. That's why. Here, let me get these started. Make sure they're going on the right way. Tell you what, you come over here. Because so i got to use this one for that one. So go ahead and do that, and I'll put this one on. We'll do them at the same time. How's that sound? Which way? Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. There you go. I've got my rolling frame now. I actually rolled it out of the way and cleaned up some of the mess in that garage just so I could start making a bigger mess. <laughs> this stuff. I pulled the pistons out and I was looking at them and I got that big split down the side and the first thing I thought was, oh crap. <laughs> it's supposed to be there for expansion. Yeah, well that's, that's the first thing I thought. The first thing I thought was, oh crap. And the second thing I thought was, maybe that's supposed to be there. Oh, there it's loosened up. There we go. I was holding my breath when I took the second one out. <laughs> I may have gotten those too tight. It's alright. 
I didn't know if I should go ahead and just start that because we got to do the yeah. bit with that uh, centering cone, right? You don't want them too tight. You just want them to bottom out because we've got to be able to swing this. Right. The second okay. nozzle. Let me go ahead and finish this up. Is it you have a skinny one? Is this a skinny one? What's your mouth, honey? Oh, yeah, that's a skinny one. There we go. Probably too tight. All right, now what do we need to do? A lot of slop. Right. Now, the easiest way to do this now is to put this on. This is just an old just bit store. All right. And you're going to have to make it tight because we don't want any slop in that connection. Just a notch. See that notch right there? Yeah. This bolt will go right through that notch. Now there's no way that can come off of there. Well, I mean. I think it broke. It chipped off. Oh, you mean this flat spot? Yeah. It's supposed to be. Supposed to See be. that? Yeah. It's got that ledge there that keeps it from being able to move. I don't think that's the same size, is it? What is it? My keen sense of size isn't. There. I think that's good enough for now. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we've got to center the sector on the worm. Okay. So we'll go, what you do is turn this all the way to one side. Right. And now count. How many revolutions? Use the keyway as a reference. Okay. How many revolutions to go all the way to the other side? Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, not quite three. Three. So go back one and a half turns. Half, one, one and a half, thereabouts. Okay. Thereabouts. Then what you do is you adjust, get all the slop out. While the sector's in the center of the worm. And that's that's gonna this... be with this cone shaped adjustment. Okay, honey, what you mean? And that's <laughs> so that's this big nut that comes around here and screws right. the screws the cone around. Bottom drawer. Of the top section. <sighs> what size do you suppose that is? It's bigger than five eggs. bigger than three quarters. That won't even begin to think about fitting in there. Eleven. That's one of those crafts and wrenches. I've never seen one with a hook out of the side of it like that. So it'll ratchet. Oh, it's, it's, so it's good for one direction. Yeah. I have never seen that before. I don't like them. I, yeah, I bet they okay. have a good... Next drawer up. Well, here's the 13 sixteenths. Next drawer up. Crescent yes. wrench. Yep. It's probably metric, but that's okay. The crescent wrench? Yeah. That's a joke. Okay. So, you got to go one way or the other. Try that. Okay, now see what you got. About the same. This thing will just keep spinning in here forever, right? Yeah. That's getting a little better. It's got a little split in it. Yeah, it's supposed to. Split? Okay. Oh, just got tight. Got real tight. Now, it's so tight that I can't turn. All right, so back off just a skosh. Yeah. There. Daddy, I'm so steep. Okay. Honey, you're going to have to be thirsty. Now, no. you can see we can turn the wheel right, Daddy. but when we go get to center, we can't go left unless we overcome, and that's too hard. So to get that out, you adjust the screw, screw slot here. Daddy, I got this much scratch. You got that many scratch? Oh yeah, look at that. You went rocked right through a thorn bush, didn't you? No. That's going to center. I'm going 
Mom, you stole the steel. Mm. That's about all to turn that. Daddy, you stole steel. Turn some more. Well, I'm gonna try to turn another way. Uh, you got a right angle uh, screwdriver head? Yeah, not that big. Loosen some of these up a skosh. Honey, I know. And I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. Here, would you like a sip of my drink? Yeah, you're being people all over the world are gonna see you whining and crying like this here in a little bit. Because there's a camera right there going. It's... Yep, it's still going. Uh-oh, got some slop back. That's okay. All right. We, we won't... I can't, still can't... Well. That's still going to bind right there. Give me a little... Just a skosh. Of course, all of this has been just a skosh. There. I still got it. A little better. Give me more. No. Is that this thing binding or is that my... Uh, hopefully it's not that one uh, broken roller. Give me a little bit more. Oh, hey, look at that. They're bound. It's got that one spot that it bind, and it didn't bind at that time. Oh, there we go. It is binding right there. Gonna bind. Yeah, it might be getting worse now. Worse. Yeah, it's getting really tight. There we go. <laughs> That's a good, good idea. Still, same spot. better but it's still still that yeah just that one little spot right there yeah, now bound up and gone too far uh, right there is about as good as it's gonna get I don't know I see this thing slopping around I wonder if I've gotten too much Loosen these up too much, and it's because now they're slopping them. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We should be able to spin this freely through the full range of motion. So you either got a worm that's bad, or your bearings are giving you trouble. I'm like more in the worm. In the worm? The worm looks like glass. Let's open that up. I guess I'll, no, I'll take that off. I think you're going to have to. Well, um, if I have to replace any one of those, I got to replace it all. So. Yeah, that's right. Because you got the early bearings in this one. Right. So. That's what I've been trying to avoid. <laughs> 
Because there's something, oh, I guess I just have to knock the race out of the bottom down here, that's all. That's easier said than done. Knocking the race out. We can come in right through here with some pin drivers, right? Through the holes. Yeah. The screw holes, don't they go all the way through? Mm -hmm. I've got some nice pin drivers at home. Take it off. I can't get enough clearance over that. See where it's wearing there. Well, they all they all show wear. No burrs. Yeah. yeah give that a spin and feel. We'll feel for burrs there. There's a chip. off the end there. Right at the end of play there's a chip. There's a flashlight at the end of the... the little black one? Yeah. Right there. Right at the very end of play there's a chip there. See it? Yeah. there. Yeah, there's a little rough spot way over there on that end too. Yeah, yeah there's a chip on each end. But is that a bearing giving a little, little rough spot right, there right too? Here. Right here. Yeah. So it's probably a combination of the bearing and the... But if we rotate it around one, and we've already put it in there, so it'd have to be to turn the whole bearing and cage a little bit so it was in a different spot. I can feel it right here. I can hear it. I'm glad you can hear that stuff. I hear a change in the way it grinds. Here it was. Well, shoot. Dagnabbit. almost like somebody wrote something on it. <coughs> For sure there were some thumbprints on there when I first handprints, you'd see fingerprints and Okay. Let's try one more thing. Uh-huh. Loosen that maybe a teeny tiny bit. Gosh. That was five pages. So I'll do it inside of the gym that Smooth? Like butter? Try it. I got a little too tight. You got play? I think I do. Tighten it up to 
I felt the rough spot go past there. Lock it up. We'll try it. Five eighths, right? That's that one, I think. The, the big Nine one. Nine sixteenths. Yeah, they're on the same wrench, right? So. Shot. All right. Let's try this one more time. We gotta rebuild this box. The steering box on that one? It's a seven tooth. Oh, that's even older. I can with the drag link off, I can hardly turn the steering wheel. It's so stiff. Not pretty bad. The throttle and spark levels are frozen. <clears throat> you know, when I put my uh, when I put the tube back together, mm -hmm. I was all proud of myself. I'd gotten that orange paint on those springs and touched them up. I sat there and looked at them, and I had them on the wrong side. <laughs> That's why whenever I take something apart now, I put it on camera. I, I, I did. I got digital cam. Me too. <laughs> so I take all these pictures and videos, and I still got it wrong. I didn't have, have a good enough picture that I could see which way they really were. And then I went back and finally found that picture, the one picture I did have. I was like, ah, darn it. that one a different one for this yeah depending on which what your preference is daddy i'm going to the van okay what are you gonna do there take a nap there and let's put the other note on okay so now we want to go back to center right oh we need to put this on Some adjustment. Yeah. Should we? Do we need? Are we going to need to readjust this one? You think? Let's get the let's get it to spin freely first. I'll take it all the way back where it was before. Yeah, you can, just, you can go the other way. No, oh, just go on around. Yeah. <clears throat> Locked up tight. Yeah, I say. I don't think it's going to go the other way. started originally.
stand. Right there. So give me just a, a little more. Any guess to which way? Same way you're going clockwise. Locked it up. right in the center. So, okay. Change that one? No. I'm going to back off here a little bit. Oh no, I'm sorry. This one. Yeah. Not one part. Should I go another way? No, the same way. Okay. No good. No, well, this is awfully loose. We're not doing anything by turning that. Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's fix the bit about this being really loose. Here? No. Or it comes out here. It comes out there. Now let's center this thing first. Right there. So pretty. Now this is the part where somebody was telling me that it was supposed to bind just a teeny bit right in the middle that when you had the steering wheel on it you wouldn't feel that. You're going to feel that. Yeah, it's pretty tight right there, isn't it? I never heard of that. I think that was, who was that I was talking to? I don't know if that was the people up at Schwalm's or if that was somewhere else. Try and take it out. So that would be that one. This one. Now let's see if I got it. I don't know if I'm tightening those down. So try that out. Nope. Oh. Scotch more. Same direction? Yeah. Hmm. You 
you feel it. Tell me what you think. Is that, is that the center? No. That's an end. You can try a little more on it. One and a half. One uh, and a half. That's not the end. That's quite a ways. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Adam. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Adam. Hold on. Stop, honey. <coughs> Daddy, can I have a drink now? Um, How? Uh, take a sip of my drink. Honey. So either I live with it like that or I go over and replace the energy. back on the truck since I've got everything underneath of it and put the steering wheel on it and see what it feels like. Now before we do that, let's go back to center. slop in there, I can feel it. What am I doing? Don't turn anything. Gauge is that just a feeler gauge, right? Depth gauge? No, it's a uh, what the hell you call it? Dial indicator. And what are we indicating besides that dial? We're going to see movement here. Yeah. Either side of center line. Right. <laughs> That's when you're going to see how much slop you have in that steering shaft. Mm -hmm. So you want to see how much movement you have before this gauge moves. Either way. Well, didn't you just do that by so, moving the arm? You can see we have some slot now. Yeah. So we'll have to take that out. Turn. Once I get past the middle there, I can. Right there. Uh -uh. Okay, okay. Okay, can you go through full range of motion? That's right. Left, no good. Left, no good. Wrong way. Starting to break loose. 
this. Through it into play right there. Okay, on that side. Go back. Stay right there. Okay. okay. Smooth all the way through. Hold on, let me count turns. You're not going to take all the salt out. You will have a little movement. Oops, sorry about that. Now, I'm going to hold this and you're going to rock the shaft. I can feel it tapping. How much do you have? I can't tell you in sixteenths, eighths, hundreds of turns. I don't think you're going to get any better, to be honest with you. I mean... You know, you mag you, that's going to get magnified when you put the wheel on. Mm-hmm. Because then it's going to go through all the linkage and everything else. Yeah. Why don't you lock it all down? Mm-hmm. And see how it feels. And then if I need to rebuild it, then I need to rebuild it. Right. All right. I mean... It's the best we can do right now. Yeah, this is exactly it. All right. awful lock washers really are. They don't work. So there's only like one kind of lock washer that actually works. And it's a special kind that's got like, it digs in on both sides. And, uh, NASA won't let you use those. They'll show you, they'll put it on a vibration table and just watch them pop right off. <laughs> Says everybody's been using lock washers for hundreds of years, you know, hundred years and they don't work. They don't work. He says, uh, Loctite works, and, and these washers work. These one kind of washers work. And I'm like, you just make me feel good knowing I've got an airplane full of washers. <laughs> now, if you're looking on, on an airplane, the nuts are safety wire. Uh, nuts are captive. To work on them. Nuts are captive and the uh, uh, bolts may or may not be safety wire, depending on what they are. But the nuts are a self locking kind, mm -hmm. which also doesn't work, he says, but they work well enough. It goes in there. Uh, this one goes in there. Uh oh, I hope we didn't just ruin that gasket. I only got 45 years on that point. Only? Only. I'm still novice. <laughs> I only got 
to six or so. Big bottom drawer or the top bottom? No. Drawer? I got fed up with bad management and quit the airplane business. <clears throat> it was that one time every four years when you could say, the hell with you, I quit. <laughs> I worked on almost F4s almost entirely. F16s and A10s a little bit on the side, but almost entirely F4s. Okay, this has to come off? Yep, because that's yours. Most of my work is on the commercial side. rolls right on, right? It's okay. Yeah, that just slips on. And then the big washer goes over it. And see, this is interesting. On my truck, I've got a piece of metal, a shim, that's exactly this shape that goes between the frame and this. I've not seen it anywhere, but it's... Yeah. Maybe someone made it. I don't know. I mean, it is, it is so close to exactly that shape. <laughs> okay. That goes in the bottom. Yep. You're going to need a 716 punch for this. Alrighty. And there's no orientation on this. No. Oh, wait. I'm going to have this on there, though. Screws might be a little short. You know, they're long enough, I can't get them started. Seems to be a story of my day today. So you don't think there's any need for Loctite or something like that on the, no. or not Loctite, but like copper coater. No. Three eighths. When you, when I bolt this back onto the frame, mm -hmm. how tight a tolerance is, is? Is it pretty loose so that there's adjustment in it when you get the uh, go to put the body back on? No, I'm asking. 
Yeah, there will be some up and down play. So I can put it on now, and then when I get around to putting the body on, I can just be careful of it and yeah. loosen it up here so it gets out of the way. And what year is that truck? 29. I need to go find me some shock absorbers while I don't have a body on it. Good luck. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I noticed there's a couple outfits that make them. I've been told one of them stay the hell away from another one. They're good. Uh, All right. You're looking to buy new? Yeah, maybe. I used the original somewhere. All right. Let's see. Let's sit down here. Second. You want me to hold the sector? I need to move this ring. Hold on, hold on. This ring. There we go. The ring does go underneath, right? Yep. Is it all the way down? Mm -hmm. Here, just pick it up. Hi, Daddy. Hi. You done being in the van now? I wasn't in the van. Oh, where were you? Can I have a drink? I was back in the backwoods. The backwoods, not the front woods? No. Backwoods. Can I? You're going to have a tiny sip. I don't like letting you drink that stuff. It ain't even good for me. But you have a lot every month. Every month? Yeah. No, every week. Way... You know that too. I drink way too much of that stuff. Because I can't stand coffee. <laughs> 